Hello everybody! It is a very special video today because look who's here! It's Wendy Lee! <gasps> wow, Wendy! How have you not been on my channel before? It's, you know what I think it is, is we see each other every day. I know. So we don't think about it. That, I mean, that's that's all. possible. Like, we just work together so much that in my mind, I'm like, oh, I spent so much time with Wendy, we must have done something together. I but feel we like didn't. we go to creation a lot, so. Yeah, we do. That's, that's what it is. Speaking of which, maybe we should do that. Today. Yeah. After. creation every day but what really has to happen right now is the two of us need to fulfill our request from a patreon supporter it's from billy and Hi, billy. billy just simply wanted me to list some of my disney favorites so when i think of disney favorites i also think of my personal favorites and i think of wendy <gasps> oh and wendy and disney go hand in hand so oh, what i did right now was rather than just like rattle off any old list of disney movie favorites i made categories and the categories we're gonna hit are favorite animated classic favorite live action movie most surprising favorite and favorite disney movie of all time Oof. keep in mind i always say this when we do rank lists and pick favorites that favorites can change so it's like these are our favorites in the moment a week from now it could change a year from now it could change you never know mm -hmm. so do you want to go first and we'll, we'll start with first. animated classic F all time favorite animated yes. classic for me that is the little mermaid uh when it first I didn't came think you out you were going to pick that oh really i thought you were going to pick mulan oh you know because i know how passionate you are about there, that i am so passionate about it mulan's actually not a front runner at all Oh my god! This one, I know. Oh, That's I thought it would be so high surprising. on your list about the favorite. It's, it's very high, but I went like very early '90s. Okay. With with this one, um, and the Little Mermaid is very really special to me because I think that's really the first Disney animated movie that I obsessed with. Not just like it wasn't like Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, which I liked a lot and their classics, but the Little Mermaid. I remember in Taiwan is when I first saw it. And we were at the um, the store, and there was like a giant TV, and it was like Little Mermaid playing now. And I was like, "What is that?" I didn't understand anything they said, but it was a mermaid. She had red hair, and I was like, "I want to be that." And my mom just kind of went down the rabbit hole with me, and I had Little Mermaid everything: Aww. bed sheets, shampoo, chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have bed sheets for my pick for my animated classic favorite. Actually, I had a uh, Ninja Turtle bed sheets as yes. a child. If anybody's curious. Um, my favorite, though, I have very vivid memories of as well, and it's Lion King. I, I remember the theater I saw it in. I remember exactly where my family went for dinner after we saw the movie. It was also the movie that came out at the perfect time for my first year at sleepaway camp. So I remember my entire bunk that year being obsessed with Lion King and all the music from it. And I oh just think gosh. it is an incredible film period. And I mean, you guys got a little bit of a taste of that based on my reaction to the recent Lion King that Jon Favreau did. I do think it is incredible in many respects. I will admit it is a rehash, but mm -hmm. given how I've always taken to that story and those characters and those songs, there was almost no doubt in my mind that I was going to like it to a degree just because like, I want to soak in as much of that as possible. And I was really blown away of, by the idea of seeing a story that I've loved so much for all of my life mm -hmm. done a different way visually. So. Uh, the Lion King had to be my pick for this oh my category. Gosh. Amazing. Do you All have right. like, a favorite song from Lion King? And it's so hard to pick, and I would just put it, you on it's the spot. So, it's so hard to pick because I have favorites for all different reasons. I I do remember that one of my favorites that summer that I was in sleepaway camp mm -hmm. was um, Be Prepared. Yes, There's something yes. about it in the bass in Here, that that I always so really like. <laughs> um, I also used to play on the saxophone all the time. Can you feel the love tonight? And I actually played it in front of everyone. You played a saxophone? You didn't know that? No, Perry. Shit. Wendy, what is we're this? Gonna, we're gonna get to that. Hold that conversation okay. for a little bit. But I played Can You Feel the Love Tonight on my saxophone at my bat mitzvah. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but I love that, and I love the energy of I just can't wait to be king. So mm -hmm. it's it's hard to pick just one. It's got a lot. All right, this is true. Next one. Favorite live action movie from Disney. I have Ooh. to go with my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. Do you know what it is? Marvel? Oh, no. It's Guardians of the Galaxy. <gasps> it's it's always been my favorite. I've loved many Marvel recent releases, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Endgame is still my favorite of this year. But there's something about Guardians and just, you know, like the irreverence, how colorful and vibrant the whole thing is. James Gunn's really unique style that's always really kind of just like captured my attention and imagination and my heart in ways that I didn't expect. I'll never, there's another one. I'll never forget seeing that movie for the mm -hmm. first time because 
I didn't really know much about the comic exactly. origins, and I didn't know what to expect. I remember walking out with, you know, like, Christy and my New York contingent. Yeah, yeah. And I remember one of the first things everybody started to do was, like, who's your favorite character? Who's your favorite character? Because there's so many different <laughs> members of the Guardians group, and I couldn't. I couldn't, couldn't pick, pick a favorite for the life of me. I mean, Drax is now officially my Yay! favorite. I love Dave Bautista in that role. <laughs> but I don't know what that movie stands for just in terms of, you know, it bringing together a band of misfits who were kind of all alone in the world and really needed each other in that moment. And they found each other mm -hmm. and what it meant for them as characters, but also just like this fun, crazy adventure they're on. I think that movie's got everything. I mean, I remember seeing that movie with you and I remember also not knowing much about going in and it was such a pleasant surprise because it was so different from the rest of the MCU like the vibe of it all you're just like this is different and I love and it I love it yeah <laughs> and I, I also love what it's done for the MCU overall too it's like yes. whenever they pepper in the Guardians in let's say an Avengers movie I just feel like it reminds me why I love that first movie so much because every single time a Guardian pops up it's like I light up yeah 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 all right Any, anytime <laughs> what is your pick for this category. I stuck with the traditional fairy tale and I went with uh, Cinderella Aww. with Lily James. I feel like Cinderella is one of the most underrated of the Disney live action adaptations. Yes, and because it didn't, yes, it's still true to the Disney's Cinderella, but it wasn't following it exactly frame for frame. So there's a lot of moments that we loved mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of moments that are a little bit different. And just like the fashion and uh, Kate Blanchett being the evil stepmother in this one, she really pushed the movie over the top for me. Uh, being in that role with, mm -hmm. with the stepsisters and it's just when they were at the ball and she was telling her, she was like coaching her daughters essentially like pageant momming the entire, she's like, push up those boobs and smile. And I was like, yes, like she would do that. And the dress that Lily James wore oh my God. is just phenomenal. The I think costume it, design and the production oh, design in that movie is something amazing. else. Yeah, I just smiled through the whole movie and I actually like, I was like, I think I will actually own this on DVD. I feel like I really do need to rewatch that movie. It's been a little while so since good. I've seen it, but it's about time. Yeah. All right, so now we're on to the most surprising favorite. I don't know if that's the best way to phrase that, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so I, this one for me, I decided to go with uh, Emperor's New Groove oh. because it doesn't have your classic princess falling in love kind of a tale. It has like, you know, a spoiled king essentially and then getting turned into a llama and it's like what kind of a disney movie is this and it's for me it, i think it's the most quotable disney movie what's your favorite quote putting uh, you on the spot you put me on the spot uh, pull the lever cronk wrong lever <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I like. Isma is, I feel like she needs to be my spirit animal. She's just so great. And I love like the chemistry between John Goodman, David Spade, the voice acting. Oh, it's time. It's time, it's Dewey time. It's Dewey time. Hi, baby. Doo -doo. I know you're talking. Oh, she, I know. Dewey's so talkative today. I can't believe it took this long for him to jump up on the Dewey, table. what is your, fa your most surprising Disney animated? <laughs> I think he's partial to Lion King. So. Lion King, I think so. Because he's in the cat family. He's, he's one. What, what is your most surprising pick? My most surprising pick. So the reason that I pick this as my most surprising is because I feel like you don't automatically think of a movie like this when you mm -hmm. think of Disney, even though technically it is a Disney release. Cool Runnings. <laughs> That's another one that was a big deal to me growing up. One, because I am an athlete and I can't, like still to this day, I can't get enough of underdog sports movies and just watching how, and like the fact that it's based on a true story, inspired by Amazing. a true story is just something else. But that cast of characters was so lovable, the humor, and then also just like the suspense of what they're doing in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. It's That's another one that does feel like the complete package. And that's another one where I am, I'm probably still able to quote, I don't know if I can get the entire movie from time top to bottom at this point, but I can quote too much of that movie. Favorite, favorite quote. I, it's the speech in the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> it's it's definitely yeah. the speech of the speech in the bathroom. I used to go through that whole thing too. Really? Like I used to recite the whole damn thing oh my to gosh. my poor mother. Oh. But, <laughs> but that and, uh, you know, I, I, I always really love Sanka's uh, Lucky Egg. Yes, I yes. I always got a kick out of that. That's right. And, and the, the song. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm not going to sing it because I can't sing for shit, but <laughs> Jamaica, we got a bobsled team. Now, now Paint me like one of your now French girls. Now he's just showing off. Paint all me right, like one we of have come French to the girls. top of the list, which is like the, the biggest one of all time. How did I phrase it here? 
the favorite favorite Disney movie of all time. Why was that so difficult to think about? <laughs> do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I can go first. Okay, I'm going to give you the honor as the guest here. Okay, favorite Disney movie of all time is Aladdin. It's actually Aladdin because it gave me, well, okay, one, no lie, Aladdin was definitely like a cartoon crush. Oh my God. Me, where I, I was like, totally buy who that. is that? I like dark, handsome, you know, a little bad, but like with a heart of gold, I was like, oh my God, 100% yes. And I loved the villain. I love all the magicality that came with it, like the magic carpet. And then because my aunt was such a big Robin Williams fan yeah. that she was all about Aladdin more so than me. And so we did like everything Aladdin together. I went to see the movie. We bought all the merchandise and like she just like would watch like the genie part over and over. So for me, that was like kind of like a memory, you know, that kind of went with the movie. And so I would we would just like sing the songs and we would. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. She actually took me to they did a tour of like the Disney park characters, like little meet and greet at malls and stuff like that. So she would take me to those. And Aww. I literally have like little tiny Wendy in a 90s uh, Aladdin shirt. It. It's it's somewhere. I have I like I had like really bad hair. I didn't match any of my outfits correctly because I wanted to like follow like the kind of like the colorful patterns and just like none of it went together at all. I love how judgy you are of little yourself. But now like you're a but geek wait fashion you icon at this point. <laughs> Thank you. With my like Ray cardigan today. Seriously, geek uh, chic is like you. really like you nail it. Thank you. Thank you. So Aladdin is like my all time favorite because it didn't just focus on a love story. It also had action and magic. Yeah. That's a good pick. Aladdin was very important to me too. I like I vividly remember also the little Abu I had as oh a kid. God. It was like a little stuffed animal, and I just remember so bringing it everywhere yeah. for a while. Um, my pick for all time is you'll like this because it brings back the saxophone. I've told people about yes. this on this channel before. It's Nightmare Before Christmas, and the reason that I credit it with helping me find the saxophone as a kid was because I was never very good at playing the piano, but the music in Nightmare Before Christmas really inspired me to try because I wanted to be able to play the music. Yeah. It didn't really work, but <laughs> at least it started to get me into music more so where I felt encouraged to find my instrument, and that instrument did wind up being the saxophone. So That's so amazing. It was, part, it was part of that journey and very important to me, but... That is a movie where, yeah, again, I know all the lines, I know all the words, and it's probably no surprise as someone who loves genre and loves Halloween so yeah. much that I gravitate towards a movie with world building of Halloween Town at its core. But I just also really love the themes of the movie in a way, and I know there are many different interpretations of what Jack is going through, but the thing that I really hold tight to is the idea of, you know, Jack is searching for something super hard the entire movie, and what he comes to realize in the end is that, you know, what he's meant to do, what he's best at, what he's most passionate about is, like, right at his fingertips yes. the entire time. He just needed to explore something he didn't know in order to reinforce that. For you, do you have a favorite character? I know it's probably super hard to pick, but from Nightmare Before Christmas. I think it's, it's probably, I think really it's probably Jack. Jack. But I, I love the Oogie Boogie design. Yes. And I also, I don't know why this became a thing, but one of my favorite lines to imitate as a kid is when Behemoth goes, Bunny. <laughs> and it's just, like my, bunny. En my entire family still, like if we casually say Bunny for whatever reason in a conversation, we'll yeah. be like, Bunny. Like, it's we all so get it. funny. Yeah, it's exactly. Like in, We've uh, all been there. Yeah, have you seen Heavyweights? Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the Ben Stiller line where he goes, oh, look. A deli meat. Yes. Whenever we're in a deli, someone my fam from my family will go up to the casing and just randomly be like, oh, look, a deli yeah, meat. Oh because we gosh. all know it. Amazing. We all love it. All right. Amazing. That's it. That is our Disney rundown for you, Billy. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for the idea and for giving me the inspiration to finally bring Wendy on the Yay. channel because it was about time. Wendy, where can everybody find all of your wonderful work all over the internet? Oh my gosh, all over the internet. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, at Wendy Lee Zaney. All right. Thank you so much for being Thanks. here. This is Please, so fun. go check Wendy's stuff out. I hope we can find your paper at some point. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to give it to Dewey. I can't make any guarantees. Dewey, <laughs> Dewey paper, gift. boxes. I mean, once he gets a hold of it, it is his. I mean, that's 100% correct. Yes. Yes, Exactly it is. right. Yes, it is. But maybe it'll be a trade-off. Maybe... He'll keep the paper and he'll let you dress him up next time. Oh my gosh. Okay, done. Okay. He can he can have all the papers. But by, by the way, if you guys didn't know, for 
Downton Dewey and Do Bader Ginsburg, the key to getting the perfect photo shoot was this one right here. Teamwork. So yeah, Do Dewey knows that whenever Wendy comes over is usually to get into a costume. I and wonder if that's why he was a little a, like sassy in the beginning. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think he just woke up from a nap too, oh, though. But he's uh, got the life I, of a cat. I feel like you've eased him into costume wearing. He actually he's been a very good sport about it. If <laughs> I were to come back in the next life as an as a pet, I would want to be <laughs> Perry's <laughs> pet. <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> as I always say, Dewey is a king and I live to serve him. That is it for this video. A big thanks to Billy again. I will see you soon with more coverage. Go check out Wendy's stuff too.